Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So again, I am on my porch. I apologize for road noise if there is any, um, but we're gonna be pinning this. And again, I've never done this before, so bear with me. This is just how I'm gonna do it. I've gotten a second pool noodle and I've got my thread and scissors and these little pins. And obviously my needle for the thread is around here somewhere. So I've threaded my needle. I do use a, threader, a needle threader because, well, that thread in that needle is too small. So I pinned, if you can see there, I have pinned my, uh, I pinned it the wrong way because I'm gonna roll it up on the second one. I'm gonna roll it up with the quilt out because that'll help me see if it's laying tight. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go down through the whole top row right in the middle here I'm just gonna I won't be able to do this on camera because I only have two hands <laughs> um, and no cameraman but I'm just gonna go down through and I'm gonna go all the way down the whole first row and then I'll cut them apart I'll come back before I cut them apart and I'll show you and then I'll just tie a little uh, knot in it and then I'll just do it row by row uh, but let me do that and I'll be right back then to show you the next part of what I'm gonna do all right, so I've done a few and I just want to show you this. I'm leaving a little bit there, a little bit to work with. I'm going to go down the whole row, but I want to show you the back. So, so then see the back, My this son has sensitive skin. So then it's just going to have that little dot, just these little tiny pieces of thread. So it's going to be pretty smooth. He picked out the, the backing because he really liked it. See, it pulls there, I'll, but obviously once I pull it back through, I'll pull it tight again. So then I'm just gonna, I'll cut it off right there in the middle. And then we'll just see if I can prop this up here. And I'll just tie a little knot there. I'll tie it twice because you want it to stay. I do apologize for this camera angle. It might be better. I'm trying to hold it up into it. And then you'll just tie it down. With that, you just got a nice view of my ceiling, I would imagine. And then I'll just cut those down shorter. Probably to about there. I still want a little bit on it. So let me do that. If I can hold it up there. left-handed let me see if I can switch hands here with you and then it'll just look like that through the whole the whole quilt on top we'll just have those little dots so I'll go ahead and finish these couple of rows probably these three that are up and then I'll I'll roll it up and I'll show you what it looks like as I roll it up how like each row I'll just make sure I smooth it out see how I mean it's not perfect so I'll just smooth it out every time I go to a new row we'll just smooth it out with our hands like that but I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then I'll be back to show you part of the process all right so I did the first three rows and then I rolled it up to prepare for the next three rows and I smoothed it out so I'm gonna go ahead and do the there's how I did that I tied them and I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing them 